Berlin is a food lover's paradise. And I'm determined to taste everything, from schnitzels to bratwurst to pretzels, all of it. Let's see if I can survive eating only German food for the next 24 hours in Berlin. So the first stop on our list is to find a German Donner kebab. Now the classic Berlin Donner contains meat, salad, it's just like your typical Donner kebab. I've just found a place that does Donner kebab, so let's go try a proper German Donner kebab. German German kebab. I believe the traditional way to have it is beef, so I got beef. There was also the option for chicken. I don't even know how I'm supposed to eat this. It's massive. I also got fries just because I had to spend a certain amount to be able to pay my card, so we've got fries as well. So let's give it a go. I can't lie, that doner kebab was insane. I understand why people rave about them here now. Like, it was so much better than any other kebab I've ever had. I had it with garlic sauce and it was actually really, 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 really nice. That has actually filled me up. Guys, it's a first. It was a huge portion and obviously it's meat and bread. Okay, so I'm just in the U-Bahn, which is essentially the like Berlin Metro. We are gonna go find some curry worst. We're going to Curry 36, I think it's called, and then heading to like the Eastside Gallery and that sort of area because I can also get schnitzel from there. So that's my plan is I'm gonna find some curry worst now. But I will see you there. Okay, so if you didn't know, currywurst is basically chopped up bratwurst with like spicy ketchup on it. I'm actually not sure why they call it curry currywurst because it's not actually curry, but it is like spicy ketchup on like a bratwurst, cut up bratwurst sausage. And it's usually served with fries, which is how I've got mine. So let's eat this up. Okay, now I will say with a currywurst, I would not get it unless you like ketchup because it is very, very ketchupy. So if you don't like ketchup, currywurst is not the one for you. However, I actually really enjoyed it. Although it does get quite sickly after a while because of the ketchup on it. I honestly don't think I need the sauce. Like extra ketchup on the chips as well. I think the sauce from the currywurst is plenty for me, but it was really good. Okay, so I've just been for a walk down Eastside Gallery and the Berlin Wall and now I'm off to find some schnitzel. Schnitzel is traditionally made from cuts of veal or pork. Obviously in the UK we have chicken schnitzel so I've never actually tried pork or veal schnitzel which is like the proper German way of having it so I believe it's going to be very very different and hopefully much better but I guess we'll see so let's go try some schnitzel. Okay, so I've got myself some schnitzel. It is a pork schnitzel and it was nine euros. So it's not too bad for like a whole main meal. That's like eight pound, I think. It's actually not too bad for an entire meal, to be fair. But let's give it a go and try some proper German schnitzel. That is actually really good. I feel like I've gone from the one extreme of the currywurst having too much sauce to this having literally no sauce on it. I don't know if I needed to pay for extra sauce, but it's really nice anyway. But I think it could do with some sauce, to be honest. Okay, the last thing that I need to get on my German food tour is a pretzel. Now, if you don't know what pretzel is, it's essentially just bread that's been twisted into a knot and it's got salt on it. You can get different ones or you can get them made in sandwiches, but I'm just gonna get a pretzel and then I can take it with me and go and sleep because I am knackered from running around, going and getting food. I have my pretzel. Let's give it a go. It's actually a butter one, so all we had left to do was like right at the end of the day that I went and got it. But this is what it's looking like. It looks so good. Hmm. It's actually got butter in it. I actually don't know what I was expecting. Honestly, that's so good though. It's literally just bread. Anything bread and I'm happy. 